Oh, 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 you, you are good. You scared me. What am I doing here? I know it's been like 45,000 years. What's that? 45 million years. Okay, pardon me. 45 million years since I've last made a video. I'm really sorry. I've been super busy with school and everything else. It's just let's just get out of the way and let's go. So what, what has happened recently in hockey that's been of, of interest? Let's go find out. Oh my god. Oh my god. Why is this? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Can it get any worse? Oh my god, I wasn't I wasn't being serious, I swear. I'm I'm at complete loss of words. The first thing I talk about, I guess, has gotta be Chris Steve, because that trade does have, did not impact me as as much as the second trade. So if you guys you guys have heard of it now. Chris Versteeg's gone to Philadelphia. He put up his a point in his first game. Leaves in return got a first round pick, a con and two. They got three draft picks for Versteeg, including a first, a third, and a conditional. I believe. I'm just going my memory now. Why would you? Why did they have to trade him? Burke's saying, oh, well, he wasn't meshing with the team, and what are you talking about? Versteeg's on a career high, 53 points. Oh, did I mention that was with the Leafs? That's right, the Leafs on the, mostly the third line. He's on pace for 53 points, all-time career high for Versteeg. And apparently, oh no, apparently he's not meshing with the team. What are you talking about? And more, more importantly, the Leafs get a first round pick. Who cares? This pick is like a 29th or 30th overall pick in, a, in an apparently weak draft. Who cares? You gave Chris Versteeg away for nothing. So honestly, I see why Burke made the trade. I disagree with it entirely. I didn't want to see Versteeg go, but, you know, I see why he did it. But now this next trade I want to talk about, it's been all over the news, and you, you've you heard of it. Thomas Cavalier is now a Boston Bruin. Oh, that hurts. Oh, that hurts saying that. And you got to understand where I'm coming from. I grew up watching Thomas Cavalier. I've defended this guy since day one. If you have not seen the one video I made about him, please click... Link in the description box if you want to. I stood up for this guy night in and night out. The, you know, the Leafs, I don't know, what was it with the Leafs and their fans wanting this guy out of town? Really? He was the, if one, if not, one of the best puck moving defensemen in the game. And you trade him away. I'm extremely disappointed to see Kyle Lee go, because I've been a long time fan of him, but you know what, I I see why he made it. And on behalf of Leafs fans, for both players, particularly Kyle Lee, thank you very much, Cotton Thomas, for your service as a Leaf. You will not be forgotten, and you will be remembered by a lot of fans as a great defenseman, great citizen, you were, a gr you were fun to watch. And I will be cheering for you no matter what team you're playing for. Even if it is those stupid Boston Bruins. But more importantly, what do I do with this jersey now? I mean, I don't have an A on it. What, what do I do? I, I don't know what to do with this jersey now. Look. Armstrong. No A. What do I do?